Each year, North American offshore drilling rigs leak about 880,000 gallons of oil into the sea, leaving it for marine wildlife who know nothing about running a profitable energy company. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. In distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after toilet care. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. They appreciate human sacrifices. The eldritch gods of yore are seldom enthused about being summoned to Port Clovis.
off a successful casino heist is made even harder when you drive off the road into the ocean and drown. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. Sharks seem to take a perverse delight in upsetting a boating excursion. This trawler, operated by Roger Cantrell, recently broke the state record for number of revocable commercial fishing offenses. Grouper feeding makes for a fascinating, if not slightly nauseating, spectacle.
random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. attack boats in areas not typically frequented by swimmers or divers. sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. Ensign Tyler Dixon. This cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations.
potential prey. killing a bunch of seeds. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. This trimaran, like many before it, was lost in its journey to the mythological dry land. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. by royal decree in ancient Fiji. But this is decidedly not ancient Fiji. There's way more liquor stores than Fede Lenders. The aquatic hunter is vulnerable out of water. Prosperity Sands ain't had no shark attacks. You can thank OP for that. Prosperity Sands sure ain't. <laughs> Wait, is that? Nope. 
just know she's near. We're done here, I guess. The underwater world is a fantasia, bustling with color and activity. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage. Shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious. <laughs> Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. There would have been more protests surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public already so numbed about ecological concerns in general.
rich milk from a lactating seal enables short bursts of high energy, making it a popular choice for grad students. Given the number of people who frequent the beach, it can be rationally assumed that a little human urine finds its way to the sea. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. The spacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. of the deep 
the Great White. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. What's in the barrels? Fish fool. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. 
I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They're killing my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? Waste little time hitting the water when a shark becomes a threat to human life. Sarah Sands, I hope you're in the mood for a shark hunt. <laughs> Another shark up to no good. Let's get it! resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime there's still a place to get a good bamboo fusion massage. of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance.
Underneath the shark's skin is a complex nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey. The grotto provides a brief respite from the sturm und drang of the wolf. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. have exploded. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them. Even after the creation of a killer clown task force, Clown-related homicide still remains a problem in Port Clovis.
Americas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. just about anything. A successful shark hunt is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon whiskey and large quantities of pseudo effects. I catch three of them killer whales, they got their fish. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side aerials. Longevity depends on her nimbleness. has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. the pit bulls of the sea. Bull sharks counter that pit bulls are the bull sharks of the animal shelter. me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier-mâché. An insane 
insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. to Malaysia, sea turtles live all over the world, but only the tragedies live in Daytona. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta.
this city council never misses an opportunity for cross-franchise. Fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler, more natural way of life. commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved much more Fed Colossus, Butcher Boy Brady.
getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. and black attack, the orc. Regarding the scale of an orca, their teeth are the size of bananas, and I mean Cavendish bananas, not those manzana. featured attraction at marine mammal parks now have a new favorite trick, killing things.
Sure, we could avoid catastrophic risks for future generations, but then we couldn't have 4x4 four four pickups with 5.7... Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. bad fish kills because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy.
around its neck tightens thanks to a crack team of shark hunters.
Ice fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners. By putting sharks in their place, hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane, so we don't have a Planet of the Apes situation on our hands. acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Well, I'm sure the shark's dead. Another shark draws to a close. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying more worthwhile things. Lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve.
propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. Fort Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. The water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear. Which reminds me, I could go for another single horse lane. The air out here has a distinctive smell. That of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing belief. This is quite a find. Although, that depends on the gold market, which is really good not performing like Like the Fed, of course, but what can you do? Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty ball. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. Shark must 
to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. The Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. No more shark attacks on my watch. Let's go. Teenager. This museum's the first place I took him after when he got certified. to eat over a ton of food every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks.
to the most dedicated sailor, bull sharks represent a fearsome and powerful unknown. Staircases and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so this ends the bounty.
as a protector of the Retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Cetacean Assassin, the Sperm Whale. practically ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. Many consider the Gulf Stream to be the world's greatest current, but for my money, you can't beat that Kurashima. The shark is now a mega shark often referred to by scientists as the 64-ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? 
Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get you easy. But when some... some shark <laughs> take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat, before I'll kill you too. The f*** I say! <laughs> Hope you got a hunger on! We serving shark ain't to fair tonight! Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark? There, girlie. As you can see, I came prepared today.
аду! Laissez les bons temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Maneater.